Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to take a look at the some of the special merge operations inside Nuke. So as you can see, uh, I have this uh, some backdrops, and as you can see, uh, the merge operation we are going to take a look at the disjoin, the copy, and the mat and the under mode. So let's see the one by one and what's the advantage of using this? Why we need to use them when we are uh, working in a Nuke? So as you can see, first thing uh, we have this mode called disjoint over. Okay, so what is that basically mean and uh, what this will uh, give us? So let's see this example. So as you can see in this one, I have this roto and with RGBA color. I have this another mat which I want to add inside uh, this roto. Okay, first thing what I need to do, I need to stencil this out because I only want this in a particular area. So I basically stencil this out and then I merge it over. So as you can see, and if I check my alpha, this is looking good. But if I zoom in a bit, as you can see, we have this transparent edges here. And this is because this alpha have these edges and we are basically doing stencil and then adding this on the main pipe. So that's why we are getting this artifact. As you can see, if I don't do this, then it will look fine. But in some cases, you need to do this because uh, you need to use this in a further pipeline. So because it, because in, in in that in that case you don't want to use you don't want to add this inside here so that's why we have to do stencil and then we have to add this here so if i take a uh, channel merge uh, this is uh, just because this is uh, alpha so we can use this one to merge these two together and see if we are getting still the same same issue and as you can see we are still getting the same issue as the screen but if I use uh, this called disjoint over mode, as you can see, this is right here, disjoint over. And if I view the same setup, as you can see, we are successfully solved this issue. And if I expose down, as you can see, also the gamma, there is no issue here. And if I view this screen one, as you can see, we getting this hard line. Basically, there is a transparent pixel here in the main, main roto, and we are stenciling this from this roto as you can see and then we are basically screening that's why we are getting this transparent edge issue but this is joint over mode uh, basically solve that issue as you can see it is it's blending very nicely here as you can see in the edges and you can also try using this plus if you use plus it also solve the issue but uh, the rule of thumb is never use plus when when you combining alpha so that's why we are using screen uh, when you are when you are combining alphas together so but in this case we are getting this issue and that's why we have to use disjoint so you may think let's use this plus and your edges will look nice as you can see if i go to this transparent if i sample this area and if I enable as you can see the alpha is still one because it's not adding the alpha because if you check the edges this value and this value is merging and we are getting plus getting value of one but this is very hard alpha that's why when when this will be in a motion bar the value will be increased because we are plusing so that's why if we use this days join over it will solve all the edge issues when you are uh, merging alphas together like this one okay so this is the advantage of using this uh, days join over mode so let's see the other one so uh, other one we have this copy mode so as you can see uh, this copy node uh, this copy mode here you will see this copy operation so i have same alpha here and uh, this one okay if i take a normal merge okay like this and merge these two together so i'm basically uh, combining this alpha like this okay but as you can see this one have uh, this line i mean this dot here this here so if i view this here so as you can see this one here and this line here and as you can see we are not doing anything we are just adding this on top of this uh, b pipe what copy mode is doing basically it's basically like a key mix so as you can see i have a key mix here i will show you so let's let's uh, unplug the mask input and let's see so as you can see the by default if you by default we have this over mode so 
this over is basically like adding on top but when you set this to copy so now as you can see it's only showing the a input not the b so this this is the b and this is the a it will show only the a input but i have this alpha so i want to add this part so if i add the alpha it basically adding it basically showing the b where my alpha is not exist so my alpha is here so it will only show the b here and the a inside so it basically replacing everything inside this mask and as you can see uh, now if i show you the key mix as you can see the key mix and this one is the same the only difference is uh, when you unplug the mask input of both of this one so if you see the merge one uh, is showing the a input where the key mix is showing me the bean so in the key mix if i plug this one now you can see the a but if i unplug we only see the b input but uh, but here it's a different story if i connect now we can see the b input so this mode is very useful when you creating a tool set or gives more than all that so this is very useful when you want to add a mask input in your tool set so you can use this one and you can add basically this tool or and you can use this in when when you don't want to use key mix so you can use a copy note instead of okay so next thing is the mat so as you can see we have this operation called mat here let's see uh, how this work basically i have this uh, plate here okay and i have this uh, character here and i did i did a frame hold i removed uh, the original alpha and i added a alpha with a roto so as you can see now i have this roto and i added a little bit blur and i have this background here and with the mat operation i'm just merging these two together and as you can see it's basically doing a pre-mult and merging at the same time so as you can see here in my a pipe i don't have a pre-mult i just have an alpha and i'm directly merging so if i do a over mode as you can see it will look like this but if i do a mat it's basically doing a pre-mult and merge inside in this single merge so that is the advantage of doing this one you don't have to add a pre-mult or you can just use a grade and do stuff like this because you have alpha it will do a pre-mult for you so this is the another good uh, way if you don't want to add a lot of pre-mult you just make sure you have a proper alpha and you're good to go so this is the mat and the one of my favorite mode is the under so why is that so as you can see let's see the example so i have this image here okay and i added uh, this noise alpha and i did a pre-mult and uh, as you can see now i have this image uh, with the black and the white as you can see the alpha is like this and i did a pre-mult and uh, now i have this character here which i want to merge here so i merge it here but i want to add this behind so what i can do i can just uh, do a swap input so i'm basically changing this to b and a but this is wrong i want to maintain this b pipe because this is my background and this is my foreground right but uh, i want to add this character behind so one thing i can do after this pre mode i can take one merge node and just connect this one here and i can uh, basically do a stencil so as you can see i'm adding a holes here and then i can merge so as you can see anywhere is the black uh, the this uh, this character is going behind and it's, as you can see sky layer is on top so if i disable everything is on top but as you can see this will also create some edge issues as you can see some dark edge issues so the best way of doing this you don't have to swap input just do a under mode so as you can see now we don't have any edge issues and we are perfectly merging this character behind this image so as you can see it will only appear where the black is so as you can see so this is the power of under so you don't have to swap the input just make the under mode and you are good to go so these are some uh, special merge operation uh, which i like to introduce to you so please let me in the comment if this is helpful or not and i will see you in a way next one have a great day